security camera review coming up. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Sansi LED Stellar Cam. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. If you're interested in finding out more about this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out. Do your shopping from there. This is a first look unboxing review and setup video all in one. This item is going to be released on April 29th, if not a little bit sooner. I've had the privilege of trying out this unit months ago to see what it was like and offer them my feedback. So I'm really excited to have the final version and copy of it here today. Now you guys may recognize the brand. Sansi has been around my channel for a long time. They're one of my favorite channel partners here. I love their LED products and use them everywhere in my studio lights. This is just a great idea at a very affordable price point. So it's a motion sensing security light, but it also has a built-in camera with two-way audio so you can make a video call there as well. Really pumped about this. It's wireless, so you just need to have unobstructed Wi-Fi for this to connect and work for you. It's 36 watt LED, which is like a 250 watt equivalent incandescent bulb. So it's really, really bright and just an awesome unit. So here's how it comes back at you. I kind of already showed you it all. It's going to use the Stellar Cam app, which we'll download and set up in this video too. I got my little light tree behind me, so we're going to install it right up here in this empty fixture box and set everything up. So now let's go ahead and take everything out of the box. All right, here are all the package contents. First up, we have a really nice detailed user guide showing you and walking you through everything that's included, how to mount the light, and then how to start using the app, which is what we'll show you in this video. We got a nice weather seal right here for the light fixture to go to the box, a bolt for mounting onto the mounting bracket, a couple extra screws to mount to the mounting bracket, and a ground screw if necessary, a little end cap to plug into the light itself, and they give us three wing nuts right there. Last but not least is the security light. It looks so cool, guys. I love Sansi LED products. And again, this is going to be a phenomenal product to light up your whole yard, above your garage, whatever you want to install this on in your exterior. It's going to be perfect for you. The camera unit's really cool as well. You can see everything there. Looks really heavy duty. Love the white on it. And then you got your uh, sensors at the bottom and right there out the front to be able to identify motion and alert you when necessary. So this looks really sweet, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to install this on the light tree. If you're replacing a fixture, be sure to take your old fixture off and get ready to attach this one. We just have your neutral, your live, and your ground wire to attach. And they give us some really nice wing nuts, so this won't be too hard. Or if it's new construction, you'll have a box like this, probably the exterior your house, you'll just attach these wires as well. I'd recommend if you're swapping on old one, just to be safe, take a picture of your old setup, just in case you get confused, forget how it was wired, and then you have a point of reference later on. Now we're gonna go ahead and install it on the box. Okay, you can see the first step we have here is to go ahead and attach the bracket. I got the two screws in. You can actually adjust this down too, depending on where your holes placement is. Put the ground screw into, even though we're just going to use one of these caps and attach it to the bare ground wire we have coming into the box. Then you're going to work on placing your seal over it and then very carefully attaching everything through the seal. You got to put the seal on first before you attach any of the wires or else you won't be able to get them to go through it to actually secure the box in place. So just kind of set the seal on there. It's going to be a little hard but you'll be able to then just connect the wires through the opening and then we'll be able to mount it with the last screw. While you're installing everything, you can see I connected the black to the black and the white to the white right there. Then we'll connect the ground to the bare and tuck it all back in the box. The next step, once you have it seated on there, you're gonna take this bolt, drop it right through, use a Phillips head screwdriver to mount it to the bracket. Once you have that nice and snug, you can take this little cap and place it in as well. Just push it in with your finger. I highly recommend when you're installing this outdoors to take some clear silicone and go around the side of the box too, just to make sure that nothing 
can get in there. You don't want any moisture or water ever getting in your electrical box. So it's always a good idea to take some silicone, caulk, whatever you have, and put it around the box. You could even really put a dab there too if you wanted, but that grommet seems pretty tight too. But you really wanna make sure that everything is sealed properly from the elements outdoors. Now we can go ahead, turn back on our breaker and power this up. All right guys, we have everything set up. Power is now connected and we're gonna turn it on in three, two, one. Wow, so bright guys, that is just crazy how bright this light is. I see a red blinking dot too for the camera, so we'll be sure to set this up now with the Stellar Cam app from the App Store. You can use iOS or Android devices, so let's go ahead, go to your App Store, download the Stellar Cam app, and let's set it up. So while I was downloading the app on my device, I heard the light actually tell me it was ready to be configured. When you look at the instruction guide, it needs about a minute to power up. You'll hear that prompt and you'll be good to go. If you don't hear that prompt, there's a reset button at the top of the device right where I'm pointing. You can hold it for five seconds or push it three times in a row. Now we are ready. When you're in the app, you'll see this home screen and we're gonna set up a device. So let's name the device too. Okay, this will go in the backyard. And then here's the installation guide. So they're gonna show you what I just showed you in the video. So that's really nice. You can watch that step by step. Power on the device, press and hold the top button for three seconds to reset it. Continue, device ready. Plug in the power supply. Is the light on the bottom of your flood cam flashing red? Yes, it is right there. We're gonna allow it some permissions. It needs 2.4 gigahertz network to work. Enter your password. Now it's going to connect. Connecting. Please wait. So it's connecting. It just said, please wait. Connect to router successfully. Just connected successfully. We got a good green check mark. Now we're free to use the camera normally. Okay, the device was set up successfully. You can see it in the top left corner backyard. So let's select it. We can go into the device right now. Here's the main device's home screen. Now we can check out all these great features. First, let's start with the live view. There it is, looks really great, really clear, and that's just the standard definition. We can change that to HD right there. Now we can go on the bottom, there's some audio features. We'll try those when I'm not recording the screen for you guys because it sometimes gets funky on my end with my phone and recording this. So we'll try the audio in a minute. But then we have the light feature. So this light bulb, we can turn the light off and then back on within the app right there, which is cool. Gives it a little flicker. Tap it again and then it's back on. And then we can do an alarm right here. Really loud, but really cool. They have a built-in speaker and it gets the point across to somebody that's in your yard or doing something they're not supposed to. So we can go back out of there. Now we're back on the main screen again. We got siren, motion alerts, and the lights. So first, let's go to siren. We can turn it on again from here. Then we can set up our motion alerts and turn them on right here. Then we can turn the light on and off. There, the light's off. Now the light's back on. Here's device health, backyard, device ID, software version, hardware version, format, memory card. This does have 16 gigabytes of built-in memory to use. You can delete the device there. Here's event history, so we can go back and see if there's any data. So there's some data from today. Here's motion detection. That was my video from earlier, which is cool. So that's how your live events will be saved right there when motion is detected and you can go back and view them and share them with anybody you want. So let's go to motion sensitivity right now. Only detects events you care about. So you can adjust the sensitivity. Max will result in more motion alerts. Min will report fewer. So we can leave it in the middle for now. And then do you want to set a motion schedule right here? So depending on what you guys do and how your schedule is, you can set up the motion and then I'll be, I'm home, I'm away, whatever you want to call it right there. And then you can always just adjust those rules depending on when you're going to be maybe crossing paths there and doing motion that you're okay with and don't want to be alerted to. So a lot of neat features right there that you can set that up.
So the next feature we can look at is the light settings. This will walk you through motion zones, 24 hour mode if you want to turn the sensor off or have it be on all the time. Your light schedule as well if you want to automatically turn the lights on or off throughout the day at specific times. So in regards to motion zone, we can choose the area for the infrared motion detection and you can customize it. So do you want that quadrant on or off? You can do that right here. And then you can expand the distance. And according to the manual, they have a 10 meter range, roughly 33 foot max for the distance. And then after motion detection, keep the lights on for how many seconds? 15 minutes to 15 seconds. You can save all that right there. And then light schedule we can look at turn lights on from which time till which time, and then they'll go off. Okay, so we're in the app again. We're gonna test out the audio features right now. We got the microphone we can talk into our phone. It'll play out the speaker in here, but we also have the microphone where you can listen to what's going on outside. So we'll start with the microphone for outside first. That's the bottom left-hand corner. You can push it, and then I start talking, and you can hear yourself on the phone from the light. So that works great. Then we have the microphone, big button in the center that's gonna use your phone to make the call to talk through the speaker here. So we'll test that now. Testing, 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 testing the microphone to see how everything sounds. So it sounds really good. There's a little bit of feedback, but that's because I'm standing so close to the unit, really impressed with both of those features. All right, well, that was just a quick overview of the Sansi LED Stellar Cam. I'm really impressed and happy with this light. The link to this product will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from there. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out below. I'll be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. I can't do this without you guys. So stick around. I got new content coming out every day on YouTube. I love having you guys around. Go ahead, follow me on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out my website. Join my newsletter, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks.